and welcome back to another video. Uh, so today, as we are talking about automations and how they are very effective um, as the time of this recording is 2025. So this is pretty much a, like this is just a money maker. Like you gotta get into this as soon as possible. Um, but even if, even if you're not watching this in 2025, that's totally okay. Um, assuming that AI is still huge, you know, it, it's good to get into that uh, as soon as possible. But for today's video, we are going to be talking about a little bit, a little bit about an automation on how you can able to transition and plug and play this into your Instagram account. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first, what we're going to be doing is we're going to come into manychats.com, right? I'm going to delete. I'm going to delete this actually, so I can show you guys from the beginning. Um, okay, give me one second. Okay. So whatever, um, pretty much what we're gonna be doing is, as you can see, we're gonna go into new automations. Uh, don't click any of these, not related to this video at all. I'll go into all these a little bit later on in maybe, I guess you could say, next videos uh, per se. But in this situation, you can press start from scratch. And it's gonna take you into this. Um, obviously you're gonna be like, what the fuck is this? I mean, it's, it's really not that hard to understand. Uh, but here's what you're gonna do. Always, always, always make sure that you name it. Um, for in this instance, for this video, up say Instagram chatbots test. That way, I'm able to uh, delete this right when this video is uploaded. But um, you're gonna come here, you're gonna delete that. Don't worry about that now. You're obviously gonna use that later on, but don't uh, really don't. It's not really important for now. So you're gonna come into when the when trigger, and you're gonna need to add a trigger. So you're gonna press trigger. And then you're gonna go into user sends a message. All of these don't matter as of now. You're gonna go into user sends a message. Click that, and you're gonna say detect specific words in the message. So let me put this camera over here a little bit for you guys to see. Um, but you're going to detect specific words in the message. Uh, for example, when someone says, "Oh, I am interested," or if someone says, "I am, um, I want some more information, info," you know. Uh, so let's say someone that says, oh, I want, I want to, I don't know if you guys own a clothing brand or if you guys own, um, I guess you could say if you guys own, I don't know, any, any product, right? You could just like product. Okay. So I don't know why it's just parody. Sorry. So when you do this, it's going to say product. So at this point, um, when someone says these keywords and obviously it could be even in the sentence as well. But so basically, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, once you do get your keywords in, right? I mean, it really just depends on what you want to put in. Um, we're gonna exit out. And then after that it says keyword trigger has created. Congratulations. You have first made your first trigger. Um, then after that, you're gonna go into your actions. So don't worry about anything else. Just worry about the actions. So you're gonna go into actions. Once you do go into actions, you're gonna want to go into um, pressing that. So once you do go into that, you're going to come to, uh, so this is recently used. I mean, many of you might not even have this, so don't worry about that. You're going to come down to automations or uh, contact data. You're going to come into contact data. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to use set user field. Once you do that, you're going to come here and you're going to put in user input, right? And you might be wondering, what, where do I see the user input? That's a great question. We're gonna exit out, and don't worry, this is all saved automatically. You're gonna come down to settings. You're gonna come into fields. Once you don't go, once you do go into fields, you're gonna obviously in this instance I already have user input in, but you're gonna come into here to put user input, and you're gonna also gonna put one to one. You're also gonna to want to put assistant reply as well. Assist, sorry, assistant reply. So once you have these two down, and only worry about these two. You're gonna put these two down, you're gonna press create, what, uh, what, whatever it is that you gotta do, press create, you're gonna come back to automations, then you're gonna click the thing right again, and then, then you're gonna click action again, and then you're gonna put in, for example, user input. Don't worry about assistant reply, we'll worry about that a little bit later on in the video. You're gonna press user input, value, you're gonna see that little comma section right there. Press the commas, the brackets, and you're gonna want to put last text input, that way that every time you send the last text, every text you send um, is considered as last text and then the AI responds to that message. So once they do that, uh, you're, you're kind of gonna wanna come and you're also going to want to add another action. So once you add this action, that is when we'll go into NADN. So here we go. 
All right, so now that we are in N8N, uh, obviously I want to show you guys how it should look. So, oh, always make sure to save. N8N, N8N does not save whatsoever. So you leave without saving, you're fucked. Um, but you want to go into here. I mean, this is kind of what it should look like. Um, if you also want to, you know, uh, put in like a tracking sheet for like Google Sheets, to put in people's emails and all that. Um, I mean, I didn't do it for this one, but uh, if you guys want to do that, I could always show you guys. Um, just DM me um, on Instagram, um, and then you, uh, I'll leave it in, in, in the link in the description. So just DM me if you want to do that. If you want me to show you how to do that, and uh, I'll be more than glad to do that for you guys. But in this case, let's go into test and Instagram chatbot. Webhook, we're gonna do webhook. So I'll delete this. I wanna show you guys from the very beginning. We're gonna put in webhook. And there's gonna be respond to webhook and webhook. You're gonna to wanna to click webhook, all right? In this instance. We're gonna do respond to webhook a little bit later, but we're gonna do uh, webhook as of right now. We're gonna copy this, always copy the URL. As you can see on, on the bottom right hand screen, there's gonna be a URL copied. HTTP method, you're gonna do wanna post. And then respond, you're going to want to put in immediately. All right, so once we're done that, then you're good to go for the first step. And after that, we're going to come into, this is where the respond comes in. Because we want to make sure that this goes, uh, you know, we want to make sure that it works. So we're going to come into uh, all coming items, right? We want to make sure that we want to respond to all uh, items. And pretty much, I'll show you guys exactly what to do from here. So I forgot to mention as well, guys. Um, when you come into webhook, so like the webhook right here, not respond, but to just the in general, in gen, in general webhook, uh, you're gonna come into and then respond. You're gonna want to use Zine using respond to webhook note. All right, so you press that and then make sure to save. So um, make sure to do that. Don't make sure uh, make sure not to do it immediately. Now after that, once you have copied your uh, post, right? Um, make sure to go into your many chats and then go into add performing actions and then go into make external request. All right, you're gonna go into here. And if you are using a free trial, you can't do this because as you can see, um, it is here. I'll, I'll do it again. As you guys can see that it is only a pro feature. So if you guys want to do your free trial, make sure to do the pro free trial. Um, that way you guys can actually see how this works and if it really works well for you guys then obviously you guys can pay for it um, but you're gonna go into make external request you can go into actions um, what is happening oh well you're going to add your request sorry and then you're gonna copy and paste your URL all right once you do that then you're gonna do the name for testing um, I mean this is literally the part like this is when someone sends you a text so, all right so pretty much what we're gonna do is instead of Going into the headers or response, response mapping, you're gonna come into the body. Um, on this section here, I know you might be seeing like, okay, invalid JSON. Um, don't worry about that as of now. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in comma, right? And then you're gonna do in quotations, user input, and then in comma, uh, colon, again, and then you're gonna see if you go on to add a field, you're gonna come into here and then you're gonna search for user input. Wait, sorry, user out of field, where is it? User, custom user field, yeah. You're gonna put in user input, okay? So once you do that, um, I always sound that there's two T's, but this is just the purpose of the video. Um, you're gonna put that in commas, comma, you're gonna come down again, and then this one's gonna be contact ID. And you might be wondering, well, I didn't make a contact ID. You're good, you're, this is literally what you're gonna do. Comma again, out of field, contact ID, boom, sorry. Boom, comma, and one more, and then you're gonna do uh, quotations again. So after you're done that with that, you're gonna do a test, or I mean, you're gonna do just put in save, and then you're good with your external request. And now it is connected to your N8N. So obviously, we're, you know, this is how it should look best now, but um, for us to retest it and see if it actually works, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna come into overview. I'll go back to my Instagram DM assistant. So. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be testing it, see if it works. Um, I, just don't worry about all of this yet. we will just worry about this specific node right here. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to many chats again. We're gonna come to headers, body. We're gonna do uh, test input, or we're gonna do test. So obviously, like I said on Instagram, you know how I said um, uh, I sent a message from my uh, other account, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do put in my name, David. Oh. 
and you can clearly see that I have sent a message, right? We're gonna test request, see if we get a response. And boom, there you go. Hey, could I get your name as well, please, just so we can you know, keep everything organized as well, like blah, blah, blah. Um, that way you're gonna save, and you might be wondering, well, you did not show me how to do that. And I am, and you're completely right. So we're gonna go back to, into NA then. You're gonna go into AI agent, right? So obviously, um, for the purpose of the video, we're just gonna put AI agent. If you don't know where to put, find an AI agent, what you're gonna do is you're just simply just gonna go here to the plus button, literally AI agent. It's, it's literally right here, AI, and then AI agent. But you're gonna come over here, gonna come back, right? And once you're, once you're in here, you're gonna come into AI agent, and then you're gonna come into, uh, usually it shows connected chat trigger mode, but you wanna press define below, all right? So you wanna make sure that it's defined below. Um, you wanna put your user inputs in, so obviously if you execute previous notes, you're going to see, just waiting for it to load. Okay, sorry about that guys. Uh, I'm not too sure why it's not showing anything up here, but um, you should see, be able to see a, um, you know, like for example, like you should be able to see like um, all their information on the left hand side. Uh, and then that's when you could just drag and drop this like user input thing into here. And then um, I wanna make sure that I wanna show you guys this as well. So if you guys go into system messages, I want you guys to always press expression. No, not fixed. Uh, fixed is literally just like one thing in general. Um, if you go into expressions though, you can see a whole overview. So I wanna show you guys and quickly run down through like the little process. You guys can copy this as well. And just put into chat GPT and do it for you, make it do it for you. But pretty much you could be like, okay, identity, your Ascendius, your a Ascendius friendly Instagram DM assistant. All right. And pretty much like, it, you know, if you, if you have a clothing brand, you could be like, okay, I am, you know, this XYZ clothing brands friendly Instagram DM assistant. All right, so basically the back context would be, you know, Ascendius is a modern marketing brand that helps businesses to grow through AI automation. Um, just pretty much give you like a context of like what exactly it is that you do for your business. Um, and then for the role, you could say like when someone's messages curious or when someone messages, for example, like those keywords, like I mentioned earlier in the, uh, in the video, like AI or like uh, just interested, um, you know, just make sure that you can say, you know, thank them, introduce Ascendius briefly, uh, pretty much that's the name of my brand, um, right? Just say that, you know, just introduce it briefly and ask if they're up for a quick chat before getting the link or in your case, you could be like, okay, you wanna get redirected into um, your funnel. So it really, this whole thing literally just, it's, it's up to you if you want to match it on how, what you're trying to sell or what you're trying to give out, right? Um, you know, tone, you can copy this, warm, human, casual, supportive, like a helpful friend, never robotic or salesy. Um, conversation flow, user says, curious, um, you know, you reply, oh, uh, yeah, you reply, like, hi there, thanks for reaching out, just wanted to ask a quick question first, um, you know, blah, blah, ask these, you know, one by one, wait for their answer, tell me a bit about your brand or business, blah, 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 and then, you know, kind of ended up there. But after that, you know, you want to make sure that you also Put, uh, connect a response to webhook. So once you respond to that webhook, uh, you wanna make sure it does all incoming items. So don't get confused. Uh, you wanna make sure that it's all incoming items and webhook is using respond to webhook node. So that's what you wanna do. Um, you, preferably, I would connect uh, chat GPT for GPT-4-Turbo. dash dash Um All these other ones are all right, but I mean, I just, I'm, I'm more familiar with GPT-4. Um, so I just do that and then simple memory, you need simple memory because I mean, if someone, if you send a message, the AI needs to be able to, you know, memorize what you're, you know, you're saying, right? So you're gonna put in simple memory um, and you wanna make sure that it's defined below, not connected chat, chat trigger node, but defined below, you're gonna put in your key, right? Obviously, uh, you know, you can literally just find it right here, like on this side of the screen. I just don't know why it's not showing. Um, but after you're done with that, you're gonna make sure that it's at 10. Five is more so like how many conversations until the AI just stops. I mean, if people send like a hundred messages, you want to eventually make the AI stop, right? So ten, I feel like is a good number to have. Um, but other than that, I mean, I'll show you guys exactly um, what to do for the many chats as well. So we're gonna come back to many chats, and we're gonna to uh, we're actually going to uh, just use this for example. So we're gonna come into. Instagram, right, obviously it automatically saves. And also make sure when you come to NA, please, 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 please save. It doesn't automatically save for you. All right, so just wanna make sure that it's saved, you, that you save. Um, and you're good on NA then, 
now we just gotta make some adjustments on uh, many chats. So you're gonna make your Instagram thing, right? You can come into this little window, you're gonna press reply. This is when you use the ass assistant reply. All right, uh, once you do here, then you're pretty much done. I mean, you're just, you just gotta connect this action one step into this, and then you just wanna put the next step into action one. So it's literally just like, kind of like going in here, looping around and looping back and looping back, looping back and looping back, looping back and so on, right? Uh, but once you're done with that, I mean, I'll show you guys the end product and uh, and as well as always make sure if you go to action one, click uh, this as well and always make sure that it is, that it is responding, right? Because if it's not responding, then you know, it's not gonna work. Um, but I also wanna show you guys one more thing as well. If you guys go into webhook, um, please, please, please don't do get this is a di way different type of webhook that you are going to insert into your many chats. Do post, copy that, then when you come back, well, in this case, I already did it, but you're gonna go into this again and you're gonna copy and paste. So make sure that it is says post, not get, all right? So here is going to be the end product and I'll show you guys, I'm already showed you guys in the beginning, but I just wanna make sure that I show you guys one more time on a different account, so. Here we go. All right guys, so just wanna show you guys in person on like live action. I know I showed you guys in the beginning of the video, but uh, I just wanna show you guys like pretty much in the big, like of how like this whole process is working. So um, as you guys can see, I am on my, I'll go to my personal account because I already messaged that um, my other account, on my other account. So um, yeah, I have multiple account guys. So uh, we'll go into my personal, if you guys wanna follow me then over here, but we'll go into here. I already messaged him, but let's just start off with a gen a genuine question, right? Let's have a full on conversation with this uh, AI robot that I did build. Um, let's just say like, oh, I'm pretty curious, like on what you guys have to offer, right? I'll say that. And then the keyword guys, curious, remember that? Once it gets sent, it's gonna be like, okay, that's great here, better. Taylor, our recommendations. Could you first let me know whether you're looking to start out or you're looking to scale your current business? Oh, um, I'm looking to start. We'll say that, All right? Once we say that, uh, don't mind the top messages. I mean, it's uh, all like, I don't know. And then, you know, a few seconds later, it's gonna be like, you know, thanks for sharing that. Now that I know you're at the starting point, I can suggest tools and strategies that are perfect for getting off the ground efficiently. Can I have your email, name and email so we can keep in touch and provide you with more detailed information? Sure. It's David and my email is David O at Ascendius dot biz. All right, once I send them that, you know, obviously my name and email, you guys could put this into a funnel. But give it a few seconds, and as you guys can see, just give. Like, usually it takes a few seconds, but now, as you can see, you know, thanks, David. I've got your details down. You can book a time to chat more. Obviously, this is you know, I'm gonna do a consultation. You know, obviously people can book on with me. But if people are doing like you know, let's say you have a clothing brand, or let's say you have a, um, I don't know. You know, obviously it, 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 the list goes on. Let's say you have a product that you want to sell. You know, obviously you could do whatever you want, but this is just showing you guys how exactly how all this works. And then at the end, um, you just be like, you know, thank you. And they'll still respond. Like you'd be like, thank you. And then just give it a few seconds and still respond. Like, You're welcome, David. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach me out and looking forward to our consultation. Have a great day. Boom, there you go. Boom, and that is going to be the video guys. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, just feel free to let me know. Um, I feel like I still haven't really gone to the point where I'm like very, very experienced with AI. Um, you know, this is a starting point for a little bit for me. I'm just like testing out the waters and seeing uh, what I can do with utilizing AI within my business. Um, but if you guys haven't, like I said, if you guys have any questions or concerns, I'll put my Instagram down below as well. You guys can chat with me there. Um, but yeah, without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys need any further clarifications, just drop a comment and I'll be more than happy to respond right away. So yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one and I will definitely post more videos like this if you guys want to see them. So yeah, take care guys. Peace.